Presley on the beach house. What's here? Right before that. I it's gone. There, it has a hook. Yeah. So we know that it was there. It was. And that doesn't make any sense. I, I'm Wait. not seeing the hoverboard either. White car, white SUV, another white SUV. They're everywhere. Oh look, another white car and another white truck. Oh my goodness. It's an ad for bandits. Everybody duck. They don't look like they're looking for anything. They're just kind of coming. They're wondering. just going to the store. This parking lot, there's a store. Okay. And it says bandits are us. <gasps> what if this is like an alternate reality? Everywhere, look, all the aisles are filled with boots or there's some cowboy hats up here too. Okay, everybody looks good. Your disguises, your disguises look great. Um, I feel comfortable now. I think we should go. Let's go back to the van now. As long as we keep our hat, heads down and, and bandanas up, I think we should be, I think we should blend right in and no one's gonna be able to recognize us, okay? I think so too. Are you ready to go? Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the van. All right guys, let's go. Flyer. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Hey guys, let's get out of here fast. Okay, let's go. I don't want to be here any longer than we have to. I don't. I just don't think it's safe. So everybody go. Everybody go, go, go. Go get in the van. Get in the van. Get in the van. Oh. We made it, but just barely. There are bandits everywhere here, guys. This is this is so unreal. I'm just glad we were able to get some disguises so we can blend in. What, what does the flyer even say? It actually says bandits meeting today at 4 p.m. Bandits meeting? What time is it? It's, it's getting close to four. I think it's probably like two something. Guys, no. everybody get buckled up. It's 3.45. Well, we need to get some food first. I'm starving. Okay. We haven't right. eaten anything. Well, where is this meeting at? Let me see. Yeah, where is it at? Everybody buckled? Yeah. Okay, and keep your hats on, yeah? It looks like it's at the cabin grill. Cabin grill? Yes. Okay, well then let's go. All right. Well, let's get some food first. I actually brought some sausages. You brought sausages? Yeah. Okay. Just so I could cheer along with everyone. Okay, well, let's, let's go see if there's any restaurants close by. I'm starving. Okay. okay. Oh. I am so glad we got out of that store all the way. That was like, that was so nerve wracking to go past all of those different people that were all dressed just like bandits and acting just like bandits. And having all of our kids with us, like that's scary to be surrounded by bandits in yeah. a place with your little kids, you know? Yeah. You gotta protect them, so. So I'm really glad that they all got disguises and we did too. I still think we might stand out a little bit, but I think it's just enough that they they think, oh, that might be weird, but then they just look past it. Yeah, ever since you know? we've been dressed like this, we, a lot of bandits have seen us, but they haven't looked twice, so I think, yeah. I think we're okay now. Yeah. And then the other thing is we, we were able to use the self-checkout there, so we didn't have to interact with anybody while we weren't dressed like a bandit. So that was really good. I was really relieved about that. So now we are hungry. And we are stopping to get some food because we're all really starving. So and we're just going to have to see what we can find. Looks like there's an arctic circle here. Should we yeah. should go there? Yeah. I know they have good food. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Well, there's a couple bandits standing outside. There's, they're everywhere. They're just standing around all over the place. 
like they have nothing better to do but just stand there. Well, they're they everywhere. Do, are they guarding something? I don't know. Let's go. So we're just here at the Arctic Circle. Getting ready to pay for it right now. Becca. What? The president on the dollar bill. What is it? It's a bandit. What? Let me see. Oh my goodness. Can you believe that? A bandit in place of the president, in place of George Washington? The bandits really have taken over the world. Oh wow. Not just our city. It's everywhere then. Can you believe that? Oh. Look. Everything's bandits. Bandits are us. And we're in the drive-thru right now at Arctic Circle and I asked for a burger and they don't have burgers. All they sell is baked beans and biscuits. That's that it. And I asked them if they had anything else and they said no. Everywhere, that's all they have is baked beans and biscuits. That's all they have everywhere. Like that's that's all that they have. Is that all the bandits eat them? Do bandits only eat baked beans and biscuits? I don't know. Like I don't even know what bandits like. There's a lot we don't know about bandits. Like there could, I guess we're learning a lot right now, but uh, I just can't believe this is real life. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. Wow, I cannot believe that. Check it out, guys. We were just given this. It's beans in an Arctic Circle cup with a biscuit. Beans, That's it. Beans and biscuits. That's all they had for That's sale. That's all or... they have. Well, I'm going to dig in because it looks good. Okay. At least everybody gets some, right? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Those are good beans. At least they're good. That's terrible though that that's the only food that's available anywhere. Guys, this world is crazy Make right sure now. you eat all your beans and biscuits, okay guys? Okay. okay. It's been a while. Uh, last we were eating lunch. Cornbread yeah. and beans. Because that's all that they had. Because that's all they had. And it's the next day. It started to get really dark really early. So we went ahead and just came home because we didn't feel safe. It was pretty creepy being out there and not having anything look familiar. And so we were like, you know what? It's getting dark. Let's just go home. The world is infested with way. bandits. We and didn't want to so be out. I'm so glad we did because everything is so different out there and it's not familiar and it's kind of scary. So, so the world is taken over by bandits. That's right. So at least it seems to be the world. Maybe it's just our community. I don't know. But we've got all of our disguises. I think we're getting ready to go back yeah. out again. But before we do, I wanted to tell you about this crazy news article that we found. We just got this in the mail. We found it on our doorstep this morning with the news delivery paper. It says the beach house cannot be turned into bandits. How do they know that? Wait. That's our picture. It has a picture of us. Yeah. With bars in front of us. We've never been in that situation with the bandits. I'll read the story. Okay. It says, the beach house cannot be turned into bandits. And then it has a picture of our whole family. It looks like they've captured us, but we're right here. We're not in prison. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna read the article um, and kind of go over it really fast. So it looks like they captured our family years ago and they can't figure out why they can't turn us into bandits, but they've been trying to turn us into bandits. I think it's because of the artifact. Well, they have that artifact that turns people into bandits. Yeah. Maybe they've used that to turn the whole town into, into bandits. <gasps> that would make sense. The but the unicorn that would make sense unicorn because they unicorn. have that... Hold on, James. That would make sense because they have that, that necklace. Right. And our treasure got stolen a while ago. Right. And that would mean that they would have the necklace back and that they've been working and trying to turn everybody in the town into bandits. But James makes a good point. We used the unicorn horn multiple times and so and we're immune to being turned into bandits. Yeah. Yeah. And so um, it looks like the article is going on to say if anyone can figure out how to turn the beach house into bandits, there's a $10,000 reward. But they can't figure out how to turn us into bandits because maybe they don't know how the unicorn horn works. Yeah. So, but here's another thing though. If they've been trying to turn us into into bandits, how are we here right now? We're not captured. What if this is like a time difference? What if we're in a different time than we were before? Because the time pirate grabbed us. Yeah. And maybe we already exist in this time right now. That would be so weird. Wait, so it's got to be a different time. It might be a different dimension too. 
Well, you mentioned that yesterday, that you felt like it might be a different dimension. Yeah. But what if it is a different dimension or a different time? Or maybe, both. Maybe it's not a different dimension. Maybe what it's just it? a different time where bandits have taken over the world and we got oh captured. Oh my goodness. Or, I hope not. You know yeah, how it's heroes of the fourth dimension? What if it's heroes of the four dimensions? What if this is one of the dimensions of the four dimensions? That's crazy. Well, let's go. Let's get ready to go. That okay. town meeting is happening in, in pretty soon. Yeah. And I really don't want to miss it because we might find out something very important about okay. this time. Okay. And I just want to get back to our own time or our own dimension yeah. or figure out what is going on because this is absolutely yes. crazy. Okay. Or maybe we should try to rescue ourselves. That would be interesting. But what would? How would our reactions be? I don't know. But if we're captured by the time pirates in some type of a prison, we need to. See if we can save ourselves. Because if everyone else is bandit, we're our only hope. That would be so... Oh, that's so crazy. Okay, well, we know where the we know where the bandit's headquarters meeting is right now. Let's get ready. Let's get ready and let's just head over there and, and be in disguise the whole time. Okay. So that we don't look suspicious. Okay. And then let's just listen to what they have to say. Okay. And hopefully we can learn some more information about if this is a different time or if it's a different dimension or if it's both. Okay, let's go. It's just the same as yesterday. There are bandits everywhere. Make sure you get your costumes on. Everyone needs to yeah, be in their disguises. Get your disguises on. All right, we just got here. I've got my hat, my boots, my bandana. You guys have your boots and bandana, Corbin? You ready? Okay, James, you ready? Okay, let's go, guys. All right, we're here. Now, try not to talk. I don't want anybody to hear us talking because they're going to be able to tell right away that you're not a bandit just because your voice isn't deep like all the bandits. When they get turned into bandits, like what happened to Rebecca and Corbin, uh, any bandits that have been turned into bandits is their voice, voice is deeper than normal. So, Can you practice talking with a deep voice? Deeper than that. You. Do you hear that? Okay. That's good, that'll work. So we all have to talk with deep voices. Yeah, I'm a bandit. Okay. Bandanas. Bandanas. Get your bandanas Bandanas. Are you ready, guys? Yeah. Keep your bandanas up. There you go. Okay, we'll put it right up over your nose, just like that. That's perfect. Okay, I think this is the place. Okay, let's go in. So, wait. Is this the room? I think this is it. I think this is it, okay. so... Open it slowly. 